What's up everybody, how's it going and welcome to this episode of Car Ant. Today, we got a surprise for you because it's something that I legitimately forgot I bought. As you guys are no doubt aware, I own a beautiful stretched out Metropolitan, but it's still on, well, stock wheels. It's on a stock Metro front end, front wheel and tire setup with a stock ruckus rear back end with the stock wheel and tire set up. So because of that, we ordered months ago a set of wheels from Machine Machines and I'll be honest with you, I forgot entirely what they look like solely because of the fact that I forgot I ordered them. Because of this incredibly hilarious situation, I was able to rush order some tires so we will be able to do a nice little tire review for you. But uh, yeah, was not, not at all expecting any packages today of that variety until about a week ago when I was given the notification saying, hey, these are coming. So without further ado, let's go see if they're here. Slight miscommunication somewhere, even though this whole escapade is a miscommunication, really. The post office apparently required that I uh, sign for my package. So I gotta go to the post office and go get the actual wheels, but I did get other goodies in the mail that are very, very entertaining. In case you are not aware, in the state of Virginia, your identity is not necessarily attached to your license plates. So I have no problem showing you the custom plate that is for the Stretro and one that is just hilarious beyond all measure to me. Goes 35. <laughs> I tried so hard to use like Rev to 11, all these other things. I could not for the life of me get custom plates. And finally I was like, you know what? Let's just see how fast it goes. That way if a cop does pull me over, it'd be like, it only goes 35. I can't speed with this. But somehow another package was able to be delivered. And this one is equally as important as the wheels. These are, oh <laughs> yes. I got a new white wall too. These are our new tires. Where's my knife? We gotta bust this open. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Oh, I specifically wanted white walls because I thought they'd be really funny looking on the moped. And these deliver that entirely. Oh, these look so good. These are Shinko tires. I believe it's a Chinese brand. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, these are 110 by 70, 12. Yes, that's right. We got 12s for the moped. This is definitely, definitely a bigger tire than I thought it would be. And uh, yeah, this is the same size. So it should be a book match set. But I don't, I don't exactly know here in the moment. Yeah, it's a book match set. So everything I need is here to go faster with more grip. Oh my goodness, the white wall. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> the white wall looks so good. One of these is going to get stretched. The other one is going to be stock and left kind of alone. And it makes me really excited to put these on. What do you think, Bo? You agree? Or are you just confused by the smell of more tires in the house, huh? Poor guy. <laughs> Alright, it's the next day. I just got back from the post office and the farmer's market with my dog. And <laughs> I'm so used to car wheels that I forget just how small like bike wheels and specifically scooter wheels really are. Boy, is this thing's cool. Oh. <laughs> it's so small. It's a two piece welded wheel made by the wonderful people at Machine Machines. This is the front and it's the perfect size for what we got going on down here so this is definitely the front wheel i'm beyond ecstatic and excited to finally be able to put something nice on this stretch road because it's just needed it for a really long time and even put a little something, something in here i'm kind of curious about this container it's heavy so i'm assuming it's metal it's just wrapped up really really well Ah, it's all the hardware. Yep, it's all the nuts for the uh, the wheel plate. Put it all together. Sweet. 
<laughs> Boys, look how big this rear wheel is. This thing is sick, bro. <laughs> this is so cool. And I believe, I believe this is our mouse to mount it all on. Good Lord, look at the detail. Look at how clean this is. Goodness gracious. And again, two piece welded, so got nothing to worry about here. But my God, oh, CNC'd, it just looks great. I feel like this is gonna look really good on this retro. I'll be honest with you, I originally wanted to go with something more like a Douglas flat face, just like a simple dish wheel, because I think it looks really appropriate on a metro frame, but yes, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the new rear hub, which means no more super squeaky brakes. They should actually sound a lot better for the brakes themselves. And this is meant to bolt directly to this back wheel. So it's splined. I don't have to do any crazy conversions for it. It's literally just out the box, ready to go. And if you probably noticed, this wheel's pretty wide. These tires aren't. We're getting a nice, nice little stretch back here with some white walls, man. It's gonna look sick. I went ahead and put the bolts in because it is a two-piece welded wheel. So it's got the welds on the outside, but then to make sure it like sits flush and all that stuff, you have all the bolts to kind of force the faces together. That way they sit perfectly flush and everything will work the way it's supposed to. Look at this, man. Look at how clean this face is with our Kimco style hub for the stock GET rear. This is, that is fire. That's actual fire. God, this wheel is so hot. Look at this. Oh, I can hear Tokyo Drift music playing in the background looking at this thing. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> look at how clean that is. Oh, and right on time too, because I got a meeting to be at. God dang. Oh, I can't wait to ride this. Screw it, let's take it for a ride. Best tire I've had on that yet, and probably one of the best fits I've had on that thing yet. Without question, the Shinko tire is a huge upgrade over the Kendas. And it turns out that the Kendas, like their stock, they, they work, but uh, they're not good. They're not good. You can't go past 10 degrees on lean. Uh, they have a very strong habit of slipping out. I was talking to the guys at. Huge shout out, by the way, to Gemini Motorsports for helping out and balance those tires. Great guys. They sell uh, bikes there as well. So if you're into actual bikes, not like scooters and mopeds, check them out. But uh, they hooked us up with the quick and easy mountain balance option so that these things would be ready to go. And by far, they are superior tires. The MMGs that I had on there too weren't bad, but they just, they're pretty much Kendas without question. Uh, they don't hold grip once you go past a certain angle. These, they're definitely going to. I'm gonna have to upgrade the front end in order to run the front wheel. So do expect that upgrade to come soon. But as is, I can run that front wheel and be fine, but that rear is perfect. I'm gonna have to adjust the suspension so it lowers it back down. But otherwise, yeah, we're looking good, boys. Looking good. Without further ado, thank you guys for tuning in and checking out this video. The Shinko tire is by far superior tire. They're gonna hold much better. The speed rating is much higher than a stock tire, so do be prepared for some extra stick in those lightweight corners. But otherwise, love them. Just really, really well balanced, well set up tire. But without further ado, thank you all for watching. If you wanna help support the channel, please check out our merch links down in the description. Anything you buy helps keep us going, helps us buy parts, 
so we can continue to make cool videos for you guys. And yeah, God bless you guys. Like and sub if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. God bless and peace.